Hello friends and family and good morning. Happy October from Disney's Hollywood Studios. I thought it'd be fun to come out today, head on over to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and do a full Star Wars merch search. We're gonna head over to literally every single store at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and a few shops along the way that do sell Star Wars merchandise over at Keystone Clothiers and Tatooine Traders. That's the Star Tours gift shop. And actually our last visit here, they had the Star Speeder 3000 from D23 over at Tatooine Traders. So I do want to see if they have that today as well. But before we get started, if you would subscribe and click the bell notification so you're aware of future uploads and live streams, we would greatly appreciate it. That being said, such a beautiful morning here in Central Florida. There's actually not a cloud in the sky. It looks like it's gonna be pretty busy this morning at Hollywood Studios though. And before we do head inside, I do wanna mention, if there is any merchandise in today's video that you are interested in, definitely check out the shopping tier of our Patreon page. I'll add a link to that in the description box. Definitely pretty busy this morning here at Hollywood Studios to get your annual pass or your park ticket scanned. Lots of people out this morning. Thank you. Okay, so we officially made our way inside of Disney's Hollywood Studios. It didn't take that long at all to get in to get your pass scan, but let's head on into Keystone Clothiers right down the street here. But right off the bat, I am noticing a brand new Star Wars sipper. You can get the BB-8 Sylvanier Stein with your fountain beverage for uh, $15.79. Nothing like a good old-fashioned stroll down Hollywood Boulevard here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. But we're going to head over to the aqua blue colored building to Keystone Clothiers. They have a good selection of Star Wars merchandise there. Okay, so as soon as you come inside Keystone Clothiers, they do have some spinny racks here with Star Wars Christmas ornaments. They have Darth Maul, The Empire Strikes Back, and Darth Vader. These are $22.99 a piece. Right underneath there is a good selection of different like refrigerator or car magnets. This one's the 35th anniversary of Star Tours, 1987 to 2022. They have one here. This is really cool from a Star Wars Mandalorian, but a bunch of different characters. I'm with Mando. These are $15 a piece. The same racks though, we even have some different patches here. This is a set of four patches for the uh, resistance. These are $35 a piece. Let's see what else that we have down here on this rack though. It looks like they even have a Black Spire Outpost one here. Really cool, you even got the Millennium Falcon. So a single patch is $12 and they have a good assortment of different pins here as well. Look at all the Jawas carrying R2-D2. This one is $15. Let's check out some of the other characters they have. So they have Grogu with Mando. This one is extremely sparkly. $15 for that. And then right underneath there is like a new one here. This is more of like a block design, almost like Minecraft. You have a Stormtrooper and then uh, Darth Vader. That one is $17. And a whole bunch of really nice Star Wars clothing and different things in this section. They have a full zip jacket. This one's a hoodie. You have the uh, really shiny finish there with Darth Vader's helmet. Then on the bottom are two huge pockets that say Star Wars. These are $65 a piece. They even have your lightsaber hilt water bottles. These are perfect for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. You get the carabiner with the TIE fighter. It says uh, Darth Vader. Those are $40 a piece, but they do actually have two different offerings for them, which is really neat. Over here is that like 3D effect coffee mug with Darth Maul. He's kind of like popping out of the mug there. And you get the smaller like petite size handle. These are $17 and perfect to go with all the Darth Vader merchandise. They do have these adult size button downs here. These are as soft as silk though. Darth Vader's helmet just completely lit is this. These are $65. Very nice for a fancy Disney meal. Right underneath there is your TC-14 droids from over at Droid Factory. 
I do believe these are $15 a piece, but they do have a whole basket of them. And then over here is your Star Wars lounge fly bag. This one actually glows in the dark with Darth Vader's helmet. And then all the buttons are embroidered. And they do still have those collector's posters. You get a set of three of them from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. These are limited release, 27 inches by 40 inches for the fifth anniversary of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. You get the Galaxy's Edge one, Rise of the Resistance, and then Star Wars Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. All three posters are $100, and it comes in this really cool collector's box. Right over here is a really cool fanny pack. Perfect for Galaxy's Edge though, again with the simulated leather. It's embroidered Star Wars 77. You have R2-D2 and then uh, Darth Vader. Together we can rule the galaxy. These are $35, but lots of different zipper compartments. Right underneath there is an adult size graphic shirt. These are all like rubberized patches on the front there with the buttons. This is really neat as well though. Those are $40 a piece. Let's see what else we have going on over here in this section. So this is the Mandalorian voice changing mask. They have these in a couple different characters. These are $35 a piece. Really cool though. And like Halloween is right around the corner and they do even have the Darth Vader voice changing mask for 35. That being said, if you're looking for something a little bit more collectible, they have the Star Wars Black Series helmets. These are the premium, premium electronic ones. You can actually see how it's like multi-piece there, how it kind of like separates. They have Darth Vader's. Right underneath there, they do have the uh, Star Wars The Mandalorian gauntlet set. This one actually shoots arrows. These are really cool for the holiday season though. Those are $40 a piece. And it looks like they even have a couple different uh, 1,000 piece puzzles. They have the exhibit series puzzles with Darth Vader and then Princess Leia. These are $30 a piece. There's so many cool Darth Vader offerings though. This one is more of like a crop top style shirt with like the staggered lettering there for Darth Vader with his helmet. These are adult size for $35 a piece. Right over here is yet another really cool Darth Vader graphic shirt. Don't underestimate the force. He has his lightsaber. I like all the colors though. Like that looks really neat. And they do have some of your uh, deluxe figurine sets here as well. These are the uh, Star Wars Jedi vs. Sith. You have Yoda on the front there, of course, Darth Vader, Darth Maul, Luke Skywalker. A really cool collectible. These are only $30 a piece. And it looks like they even have the characters from Star Wars Mandalorian. But you could even purchase some of your different lightsabers here as well. Like the more of like the kids versions are down in the bottom section. But they have the uh, smaller size package ones that are retractable here as well. But a bunch of different characters. This is the uh, Training Academy Jedi ones. These are only $20 a piece on this whole rack. And if you are looking for the more collectible ones, they do have a couple different characters that are sold here at Keystone Clothiers. These are $250 a piece. Here's a bunch of that brand new Star Wars Dark Side merchandise that was just released to the parks not too long ago. A huge Star Wars lounge fly bag with Darth Vader and then the Stormtroopers. They're even on the side of this bag. This is larger than like your typical lounge fly. Those are $89 a piece. Right underneath there is the matching pair of ears. These are also Disney Parks Lounge Fly with Darth Vader, the Stormtroopers, and the bow is removable. $45 a piece for them. And right over here is the brand new Spirit jersey. The backside here has the raised lettering Star Wars Dark Side. And then you have like Darth Vader, Darth Maul, and some Stormtroopers. These, I want to say, were $80 a piece, but it's more of like that new lightweight material. And they even have more Star Wars Black Series helmets over here as well. Captain Cardinal ones. They sell so many cool things here for the theme parks though. This one is more of like your sling size bag, part of your Star Wars designer series. You have Darth Vader on the front. He's literally holding a Death Star balloon. All of that is embroidered. You have a little patch on the back side that says Star Wars. Let's see the old price of Rooney. This guy is $30. They also have the adult size Darth Maul baseball caps here. Really cool, like everything is embroidered. The horns are popping out. Those are $30 a piece. And they still do have some of your Star Wars Herschel sling size bags with this very nice uh, material. You got the patch for the 25th anniversary there of the uh, Phantom Menace. Let's see how much these guys are. See if we can find one here with the old price tag. They are $70. 
And they are running some really good deals on the adult graphic t-shirts. These are normally $30 a piece, now $25 each when you buy two. There's actually some Star Wars shirts over here, believe it or not. They have the Princess Leia I Love You one, kind of like with that 3D effect. And then right underneath there is the I Know version with Han Solo. Really cool though that you can get some great deals on some of the uh, Star Wars graphic t-shirts here over in this section. This one's not Star Wars related, but I love this. This one's brand new with Mickey Mouse. It says Disney's Hollywood Studios. The great thing about Keystone Clothier is they have so much really cool Star Wars merchandise. And if you did miss anything from over at Galaxy's Edge, odds are they may have it over there. So definitely check on your way out of the theme park if you did miss anything. Or if you just don't want to carry it around all day, it's a great option over there. But let's actually head on over to Tatooine Traders. That's the Star Wars gift shop. Like I said, my last visit, they had the Star Speeder 3000. It's just an absolutely just picturesque beautiful morning here though at Disney's Hollywood Studios with the fountain. Over here is the SS down the hatch. And if you are looking for an incredible Star Wars photo op here at Hollywood Studios, they do still have like the 50th anniversary statues out with BB-8 and R2-D2. Definitely a great time to come out and ride Star Tours though. Right now it's only a five minute wait. Pretty much just a walk on, just get in line and head right on the attraction. But another really cool photo op that they do have a cast member out taking pictures. Check out the ginormous AT-AT right there. Just kind of like popping out behind the tree line. Let's actually make a little pit stop a Rooney over here to the Star Tours gift shop, Tatooine Traders. It's located right at the uh, backside of the attraction as soon as you get off. Okay, so as soon as you come inside, they have these really awesome adult-sized baseball caps. It's embroidered with Mando's helm, and they kind of like Grogu popping out. These are $30 a piece. Right over here is an adult-sized graphic t-shirt. This one has the raised lettering for Star Wars on the front side. Those are $40 a piece in the adult size, and you can never go wrong with a good pair of light-up ears. You have like the uh, Star Destroyers there, I should say like the uh, spaceships, the frogs, and then Grogu. These are lavender in color, so only $25 for a light up pair of ears. And then right underneath there, they do also have the matching Disney Parks Lounge Fly with Grogu. One of my personal favorites. These are $88 a piece. They have some little pullback racers here with Grogu. Like how adorable, like inside of the little pod. Those are $15. Then over here is a really cool plushie backpack with Grogu. You actually get the uh, good size plushie where he's inside of his pod. These are really cool for the kiddos. $39.99. Speaking of Grogu though, there's so many cool things. Here's a kid's graphic t-shirt with R2-D2 and Grogu embroidered. Those are $32 a piece. And then right over here is the adult size pair of ears that they do have with the big floppy ears. And then the eyes are embroidered. These are $35 a piece, but so many cool different Grogu offerings over in this section. Here's an adult size shirt. This has a bunch of buttons. You have uh, Yoda established 19. 77 do or do not there is no try at the bottom these are $40 a piece and it looks like they even have a brand new Grogu uh, baseball cap here look at the eyes though I love that like the whole facial expression these are kids size for $25 and they do have a full zip jacket here this one is hooded but a very soft material with the raised lettering for Star Wars and then Grogu on the front for $60 and if you are from up north, they have this really heavy full zip jacket. This one is embroidered Star Wars on the front. You actually have the faux leather on the sleeves. These are super duper heavy. Those are $100 a piece. Right over here is the matching adult size baseball cap to that with the raised lettering with the embroidered Star Wars. Those are $30. They even have some Star Wars New Era beanies here. It has your New Era logo, your uh, Star Wars insignia. I do like how it has the black and then the uh, yellow on the top. Those are $30 a piece, but you can never go wrong with a good pair of Crocs. Like how cool are these? Eight different gibbets with the lightsabers, C-3PO, R2-D2. You even have Darth Vader and some Stormtroopers for $65. 
<laughs> Another really nice adult sized baseball cap. This one is embroidered with the dueling lightsabers on the front. These are actually Nike dry fit material. So a nice material for the theme parks. They are adjustable on the back side. Those are $40 a piece. A really cool pair of uh, Darth Vader ears that they do have for sale. These are the simulated leather with the medallion there in the center with the buttons. Those are $35 a piece. Let's actually check out some of the different Power Force action figures that they do have. This is a big set. These are motion activated with lights and sounds. You get Luke Skywalker, R2-D2, and Grogu. That one is $50. And they have a whole set here. This is really cool with the droids, C-3PO and R2-D2. But I did want to mention down here in the bottom section, they do have even more of your Star Wars Power Force. They actually have some of the other droids here where you can push the button. And they actually talk to you. These are incredible. I don't think I've seen these ones before, actually. These are $30 a piece, but they do have a couple different ones. Of course, you can never go wrong with some good Star Wars plushies. They have the Grogu weighted plushies here. These are $45 a piece, but a super duper soft material. Really cool though, they have a whole basket of them. Underneath there, they have the uh, Grogu plushies. These are actually a really good size. These are $25 a piece. Definitely a little bit smaller though, compared to the uh, weighted plushies. Some of my favorite items are always the uh, shoulder magnet plush that they have. They have the uh, Grogu ones here. It comes with the little magnet as well to put them onto your t-shirt for $30. A few other characters that they do have with the plushies though. This is a huge Bigfoot plushie of Chewbacca. Like look at his big tootsies there. Like everything is embroidered. He even comes with his side bag. $35 for Chewy. Right underneath there are the Porg plushies. These are so adorable. Super duper soft again with the material they used. That one is $35. And then speaking of Porgs, they do have the magnetic shoulder plushies here with the Porgs as well. Let's actually check out some of the different Star Tours merchandise that they do have. So this one is the full zip hoodie. Really cool, like everything is embroidered on the shoulders and on the front. These are $70 a piece, a nice soft material there. They do also have your adult size baseball caps here with the Star Wars patch. The adventures continue. It says Star Speeder 1000. These are $30 a piece. And they even have your little die cast vehicles here for the Star Tours attraction. I love this ride. It shows you on the back side what it looks like. These are $10 a piece. And then right underneath there is the actual Star Speeder 1000. This is a die cast vehicle that comes with a little display stand that says Star Tours. $18 for them. And they even have the adult size graphic t-shirts here with the Star Speeder 1000 logo and Star Tours at the bottom. Over here in the kids section, uh, lots of merchandise to do with nubs. This one is the uh, full zip jacket, totally lined with Sherpa. You get the patch with nubs on the front. These are $50 a piece, but a very, very soft material. They do have the kids version trucker hats here, again with nubs. Look at his little toother sticking out the front, and it's adjustable on the back side. These are $25, but underneath there is the matching backpacks, again with nubs. Again, it's like a big plushie, actually. It has the uh, big zip pool there with a nice good size compartment. The uh, Nubs backpacks are $40 a piece and then right over here is the graphic t-shirts with Nubs. You got a little pocket on the front side. Again these are kids size for $27 but how cool is this pair of R2-D2 uh, youth size hat ears that they have for sale here at Tatooine Traders. These are $25. Even more Star Wars Power Force action figures they have. They have the Darth Vader one with the uh, light and sound effects as well. Darth Vader is just a single action figure for $30. But right next to Vader, they do also have the Mandalorian. Look at he comes with a little pouch with Grogu and then the jetpack. That one is $35. And then right next to the Mandalorian, they do have the Imperial Stormtroopers. Really nice attention to detail though. Very cool action figures. $30 for that. And they do have some Boba Fett power icon figures. I do want to check out some of the different spinny racks that they have here as well because they have so many different Magic Band Plus. This one has Han Solo, the Millennium Falcon, and Chewbacca. These are $45 a piece. Right next to that one is a really cool Darth Vader one. It has the Star Wars logo in the center. 
One of here over here, though, is one of my personal favorites. They have the R2-D2 droid one. These are $45 a piece, but right up ahead is a really cool uh, phone grip stand. This is one of the uh, Star Wars pop sockets with Grogu. The Force is strong with this one. They are $20 a piece. And then over here is your Star Wars keychains. Really cool, you get the extra clippy and the medallion. These are red in colors, so let's see here. They are $15. I did want to check and see here at Tatooine Traders, though, if they did have any more of those Star Speeder 3000s that were just released at D23, but they were completely sold out. They had those a few weeks ago. That being said, let's head on over to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and check out some Star Wars merchandise over there. I am super duper surprised, though, the low crowd levels this morning going in to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. This is crazy. Not too many people over here in this direction, but there is a line of people over here on the right hand side always a great place to come out and do a meet and greet with some of the different Disney characters and it does look like Goofy and Max are both out this morning doing a character meet and greet yeah this feels really strange I definitely want to check out the posted wait time here for rise of the resistance the whole queue like there is nobody in line whatsoever Okay, so Rise of the Resistance right now is currently a 45 minute wait. That is not too shabby. But let's head on over here. They actually have two different merchandise, like kiosk boots outside. We'll see what they have going on. Okay, so right here is a really cool adult size graphic shirt. Luke Skywalker's Fighter Force. It says Proton. Let's see what we have doing here. Laser Cannon and then Thrust Engine. These adult size graphic shirts are $35 a piece. And then right over here, they have some very awesome replica helmets. Like, how cool are these? I do want to see if we can find the price here. These are the X-Wing helmets with authentic... Uh, size and sound effects those are $80 a piece, but they do have even more merchandise back here on the opposite side of the booth Here is a women's cut more of like a, a tank top with Ray and BB-8 at the bottom Those are $40, but look at the cool design here with the different patterns really nice like Under Armour no sweat material Underneath there is some of your die-cast vehicles. This is the T-70s uh, X-Wing die-cast vehicle and they do come with a little display stand for $15 a few other helmets that they do have here though these are only $60 a piece this is the resistance pilot helmet again very nice attention to detail really really cool and they do have another one right up here this one is the Poe X-Wing uh, pilot helmet this one's probably one of my personal favorites but right next to the helmets is a micro galaxy squadron play set again with lights and sound effects you have the Millennium Falcon it comes with Chewbacca Hondo and R5 Dash PA droid. Oh, look at that. It says Millennium Falcon Bat 2. Let's see the old price tag here. The backside has your Star Wars Galaxy's Edge logo. Those are $60 a piece. That's really neat though. Perfect for a hot day here at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, though. They also have your misting fans. How cool are these, though? It comes with the lanyard that says Black Spire Outpost in Galaxy's Edge. These are $22 a piece, but they actually have them on ice, so they're already all cold and ready to go. Let's pop on over here to the next booth, though, and see what else we can find over here. Okay, so another, uh, let's see here, a t-shirt. This one is adult size, has a little patch that says resist. This one is actually like split and kind of like put back together. Those are $40 a piece. Then right over here is a, a long sleeve shirt. These are really cool. It has the uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge logo on the inside. Let's see the old price tag. These are $50 a piece. Another one of those adult size like split colored shirts. This one is like split up the top. You have the uh, Starfighter. Look at the cool logo down here on the bottom section. These are only $40 a piece. And then over here is a really nice ringer tee with uh, Batu. You have the Millennium Falcon, a super duper soft material. These are $45. Underneath there are the matching baseball caps that they do have. This mimics that uh, graphic t-shirt. These are adult size for $30 a piece. And one other graphic shirt that I do want to show you with uh, Chewbacca. This one has Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, C-3PO, and R2-D2 for $30. Even right across from the merchandise booths themselves, so many cool photo ops that they do have right here at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. This is crazy with the uh, sound effects. You can actually see like smoke coming out of the engine. Let's head a little bit further inside Star Wars Galaxy's Edge though. We'll see if there's any characters out and about doing any meet and greets and check out some more of the merchandise. 
Let's actually make a quick little pit stop over here to Droid Depot and check out some of the merchandise offerings over here. Like you can even build your own droid. Really, really cool shop. But if you don't want to build your own droid, as soon as you come inside, you can actually purchase some of the different interactive remote control droids. These actually come with the uh, Droid Depot insignia industrial automation. And it says Star Wars Galaxy's Edge on the backside. But this one here is the R2-D2 droid. And then right over here in the bottom section, they do, of course, also have BB-8. $119.99 for BB-8. The R2-D2 one actually comes with the serving tray if you want for 160 or you can purchase the droid by itself for 120 but they have the cp or I should say c1-10p droids here to purchase as well a few really cool things over here in the kids section though this is the bb-8 pullover hoodie you got a little pocket there on the front and a huge graphic of bb-8 those are 50 dollars a piece let's see what else we have over here in this section so they have some little notebooks here for droid builders it says droid depot on the top section those are 27 dollars a piece and it looks like perfect to go with the notebook they even have the uh, pens here as well this one actually has a stylus those are ten dollars a piece and then yet another kid size graphic t-shirt that they do have it says the R series on the bottom with all the droids these are $32 and how's about these little droid factory mystery crates you get a single droid on the inside these come in a hard plastic case these are $17 a piece but what I love they actually have all the different droids on display underneath that you can get inside of the mystery crate and I was actually just talking to one of the cast members here. You can actually build these droids if you did want to build a droid here at Droid Depot. So you can get like the little mystery crate and then build the same droid, which is really neat. Over here is the kids, let's see here, uh, Droid Depot. Uh, tank top. This is a really cool design with the metallic hook on the bottom section with BB-8. These are $32 a piece and then right underneath there is the Droid Depot droids. How cool is that with the uh, photo op that's actually right outside of the building. These are $60 a piece. So really awesome. This is actually the conveyor belt of all the different droid pieces. If you do want to come here to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and build your own droid. It actually shows you like a bunch of the pieces you need there to complete that specific droid. But really neat how they have the different like old droids up here. Some really cool photo ops. And then the conveyor belt with all of like the huge droid pieces comes out of the upper section. Let's head over here to the opposite side of the gift shop though. Here is a kid sensory friendly R2-D2 graphic shirt. It says the cute one, beep boop beep. These are $27 a piece in the kid size. And then right underneath there is the Disney Parks lounge fly. This one is of R2-D2. It's more of like your crossbody size for $75. Here's a really nice Droid Depot t-shirt that they do have here. It actually says uh, Black Spire Outpost on the sleeve. Again, these are adult size for $37. Now right over here is the uh, Droid Builders baseball caps. Actually has a little pocket there on the top section. Really nice attention to detail. This one is more of like a weathered, almost like denim material. Those are $35 a piece. Underneath there is yet another adult size baseball cap. This one's more of like your typical trucker hat has the little rubberized patch industrial automation and then droid depot let's see if we can find the price that one is thirty dollars and then right over here is an adult size sweatshirt you can see like all the inner workings there of r2d2 a nice soft material like it has the navy pinstriping for sixty dollars of course you have to check out some of the different pins that they have for sale here at droid depot this is the bb series builder twelve dollars for that one but they do also have the uh, c series builder these are only twelve dollars a piece so a pretty good deal they have your r builder and underneath there is a couple different offerings that i do want to show you this is part of the open edition where the droid itself like does actually open up this one is fifteen dollars they do have some double pin sets here as well. This one actually is like all the inner workings of BB-8. That one is $12. And then right underneath there is one of the double pin sets that you can get here at Droid Depot for $23. 
<laughs> Even more cool kids graphic t-shirts, Galaxy's Most Wanted, Droid Friends Forever, and then you have all the droids on the bottom section. These are $32 a piece, and they do have one other kids graphic t-shirt over in this section where the droid is like popping out of the pocket. This is the C1 series. You get the uh, Droid Depot patch for $35. But you could also get some really cool kitchen items here. These are $50. You get a set of three different droid bowls, and these are actually stainless steel, so very nice quality on them. Underneath there is a huge oversized coffee mug for Droid Builders R-Series, and it has that same logo on both sides. These are $25 a piece. Right underneath there are the uh, salt and pepper shakers. Like, how cool is this design? How they kind of like groove together, but the uh, salt and pepper shakers, you have your Droid Depot and then R2-D2. These are $22.99 for the set. But they also have like your uh, faux leather trays, the R2 series. Let's see how much these are. $15 a piece for them. And then you can never go wrong with a good kitchen apron. And I love this one. This one has a huge metal badge for Droid Depot. And then BB-8 at the bottom for $35. A few other items though that I do want to show you over in this section. This is a huge stainless steel R2-D2, almost like the top of them. These are $75 a piece. It does say Star Wars Galaxy's Edge on the inside, but these are really heavy. And then right underneath there is a huge coffee mug with a big oversized handle, again with the droids. Yeah, it says Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at the bottom for 25 And literally right outside of Droid Depot, these are the same exact droids where you can purchase inside of that box set. A cool little photo op, and they are interactive. <laughs> look, look at him there. He's like talking to us. That is so cool. Oh boy, okay, so even some stormtroopers are out and about here at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. <laughs> Excellent. Keep them in line. This outpost has enough troublemakers. Drop a comment in the comment section though if you're a fan of the uh, blue milk or green milk here at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Let's continue on our way though and check out some more of the really neat Star Wars merchandise here at Galaxy's Edge. Okay, so here's actually some more of the uh, die-cast vehicles. They do have the TIE Fighters that come with the little display stand. $17.99 for the TIE Fighter. And then right underneath there is a huge AT-AT. I'm actually shocked. That one's the same price. Super duper heavy though. And then right over here, they have a bunch of your first order Stormtrooper merchandise. Like your uh, helmets with the voice changing math masks with authentic phrases. Those are $30 a piece. Right over here are the uh, binoculars for the first order stormtroopers these actually are like double-sided like they actually like kind of separate they are $30 a piece and they do have the batons with the shield another brand new Star Wars graphic t-shirt with Darth Vader on the front you have Kylo Ren right underneath finish what they couldn't on the pocket these are $40 a piece it says this really cool little patch on the bottom section these are let's see here $40 a piece for them right over here are the little banners these are perfect for like an office desk loyal to the Empire they are double-sided and then it says Star Wars Galaxy's Edge on the bottom but those are $20 a piece and they do have these kids tank tops down there with the cool graphic with Darth Vader and then um, Kylo Ren. These are $32. So more of like the higher end collectibles that they do have. This is the first order Stormtrooper bust. These are $250 a piece, but they have them on display here so you can check them out. And then right underneath there, they also have a Stormtrooper statue. This one has like the metallic finish with the huge like oversized base. Those are $140 a piece. And they even have some like lithographs here, join the Empire with the Starfighters and then I should say the TIE Fighters and then the Stormtroopers. Those are $40. Let's see what else we can find here though. Okay, so this is more of like a shadow box. It's actually glass on the front. Enlist. These are the first order enlist uh, signs. $150 a piece for them, but they come all framed up and ready to go. And it looks like they do have some different like refrigerator magnets here as well. Darth Vader enlist today with the stormtroopers. That one is $15. Then they have the Rise of the Resistance ones with the AT-ATs. And so many different coffee mugs and drinkware that they have. This one says strength through order on the inside, 709. 
really cool Black Spire outpost on the back side. Those are $20 a piece. Right underneath there is the Loyal to the Empire coffee mugs. These are double sided though. I like the handle. This one's very unique. Those are $20 a piece. Let's see what else we can find over here though. They have some stainless steel drinkware. These are perfect for the Disney parks for $30. And that's really cool that we got to see some stormtroopers walking about here at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. You literally never know what characters you're going to find. Let's actually head on over to Doc Ondar's and see what they have over there. Doc Ondar's is another one of those gift shops with incredible theming, amazing photo ops. Before you even go inside, you can get your lightsabers and all sorts of cool things here. Okay, so as soon as you come inside is another one of those little plastic mystery boxes. These are Doc Ondar's mystery treasures. It does show you a bunch of the different designs you can get. These are $15 a piece. But again, they do have them on display here, which is really, really awesome. And some of these are actually some of the photo ops and different things you could purchase here at Doc Ondar's. Like right underneath there, they do have this smaller size bust of Yoda. These are like the uh, mini busts, they call these. It says Star Wars Galaxy's Edge on the bottom. Those are $20 a piece. For $50, they do have your interactive lightsaber hilt display stands. I feel like these are a must if you plan on uh, getting a lightsaber here at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Those are $50 a piece. Right over here are the Kyber Crystal display accessories as well, where they help your uh, Kyber Crystal light up. It shows you on the back side there how you kind of like attach them to the uh, lightsaber display stand that they do have. These are $12.99 a piece. And they do even have some different kyber crystal necklaces over here in this section. Let's see the price tag. They are $26.99 a piece. And they do have a couple different lightsaber hilts on display that you can purchase. They have Darth Sidious lightsaber, $169.99. Right underneath there is Qui-Gon Jinn. These are such great quality, $170 for that one. But they have a couple other ones here on display so you can check out inside of the cases, like the Ahsoka one. Let's see what else we have going on here, tucked away in the back corner. So here's the whole box set of four different Imperial credits. These are $30 a piece. It comes in a really nice box though with the window. Right over here are your Galactic Empire drinkware. These actually come with the twisty off lid and then the silicone ring so they don't fall. Those are $30 a piece. And then right underneath there is a uh, long sleeve graphic shirt here with the Galactic Empire. Let's see the price tag. These are $50. Most definitely though, this is one of those stores that you have to take a moment, just literally to take everything in. Always take a second though to look up like you never know what you're going to find here at uh, Doc Ondar's. One of my personal favorite statues, they do have Vader's melted helmet. These are $350, so definitely like on the higher price range. And then right over here is some more of those uh, smaller busts. These are $19.99 a piece. They have the Emperor mini bust. And then right underneath there is the Darth Vader version. But these are $20 a piece. And Halloween is right around the corner. They have these awesome Halloween costumes that come with a really heavy duty plastic a helmet there with Darth Vader. Again, these are kid sizes. And they do have even more kyber crystal necklaces here at Doc Ondar's. Again, these are $26.99 a piece. But right underneath there are even more of your different credits you can purchase. Like the New Republic credits, you get the four different coins. Kind of like in that same box set though. These are $30 a piece. And right next to them are the uh, Mandalorian coins. Really nice attention to detail though. These are really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> that Doc Ondar animatronic that they do have inside, definitely take a moment to check that out. That thing is seriously incredible. I do want to head over to Black Spire Outpost, the toy maker shop here at Galaxy's Edge, and see what we can find over there next. Let's head on over here to Black Spire Outpost and see what we can find. They do have a couple different merchandise offerings before you even go inside, like this full zip hoodie. It says Black Spire Outpost on the front. Let's actually check out the back side here. Okay, so there's no design on the back side, but a very lightweight material. Those are only $50 a piece for a full zip. That is a very good deal. They do have some kids uh, size graphic t-shirts here that say Black Spire Outpost. Here they are, $27. 
And then right over here are some smaller size matted prints that they do have. They actually have a little sticker on the back side for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. They have the cantina. Right over here is the Batuu one. It says on Galaxy's Edge. And they do also have the Millennium Falcon. I do want to see if we can find the price here. These are $15 a piece. And then right over here is a double-sided toothpick holder. The one side says Bright Sun's Batuu. And then you have Rising Moon's Batuu. These are $9.99 a piece. Even more of your uh, drinkware that they do sell here at Black Spire Outpost. This one is double-sided. The back side's like etched in, it says Batuu. Those are $20 a piece. And then over here is a very cool statue that says Black Spire Outpost on the front with the Millennium Falcon. It says Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at the bottom, so very nice attention to detail. Those are $30 a piece. They have a whole basket of these woven throw blankets here as well. Let's see the old price tag. These are, let's see here, 70 inches by 52, so definitely oversized. Super soft material. Those are $85 a piece. And you definitely have to check out some of the different pins that they sell here. This is the Batu Open Edition one with the Millennium Falcon. That one is $12. They do have the Black Spire Outpost again with the Millennium Falcon. The uh, dueling lightsabers, $12 for that. And then right underneath there are a couple different offerings. Until, until the Spire, Black Spire Outpost. This one is a much larger pin for $12. And here is yet another one of the open edition pins. Actually opens up on the inside to Black Spire for $17. Let's just head right across the walkway though and check out some of the different plushies and different offerings over here at the toy maker shop. Like look at the little Ewok plushies with their toothers sticking out. $22.99 for the Ewok. They have a whole basket of your Chewbacca plushies. Definitely much larger than the Ewok. So these are a tiny bit more at $25. But they have so many different characters down here in the bottom section. Princess Leia for $25. And if you ever felt the plushies that they have like these are very nice like really nice materials that they do use they have some Jawa plushies for $22.99 even the Mandalorian how cool is this one you get his uh, cape for $25 and they have a good assortment of these wooden more like poseable uh, dolls that they have with C-3PO and R2-D2 they are $25 a piece but they have so many different characters right up ahead they do have Grogu with Mando that one is $25. You can actually move like Grogu's head. So really cool how they actually move like really good. They have a Darth Vader version here as well with his cape. $19.99 for like the singular version. But even more of your AT-ATs. These are die cast. Really heavy. The attention to detail on these things is absolutely incredible though. $20 a piece for the AT-ATs. Then they also have some Millennium Falcons here. Some of the other plushies that they have inside of these baskets though, they have some pork plushies for $22.99 a piece. Let's see who else we can find here. They have Ahsoka. So lots and lots of different characters. $23 for Ahsoka. And it looks like they do also still have one Kylo Ren plushie left over here at the toy maker shop. Let's pop on over though and check out some of the different creatures you can purchase here at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And how about the uh, Porg puppets that they have? These are interactive as well. Really, really neat. Let's see the price tag. These are $55 a piece. But this is another one of those Star Wars gift shops where you really have to take a moment and just to take everything in. You have lots of different cages with animals up ahead. You hear all the types of different like noises and different things. But underneath there, they have some of the uh, puffer pigs. Look at these. You squeeze them. <laughs> like how cool is that? I love these. $19.99. And of course they do have your loft cat plushies. You can actually push the back on them and then their mouths open up. Like look at that, his big teeth sticking out. Really cool. These are $55 a piece for the loft cat plushies. And they do even have some of your limited release creature carvings here. These are $25 a piece. The loft cat looks really, really cool. Underneath there is the porg. So they do have a couple different ones here for $25. But I like how they have like these different like containment tanks with some of the different creatures from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. 
I had such a fun time today coming out here to Disney's Hollywood Studios, checking out all of the newest Star Wars merchandise that Star Wars Galaxy's Edge has to offer. It's always a pleasure coming out and checking out all of the newest offerings. It's just the theming over here is just incredible. Lots and lots of cool different gift shops. Even if you aren't looking to buy anything, like the photo ops are something else, like the character interactions are incredible. That being said, if you are interested in any of the merchandise in today's video, definitely check out the shopping tier of our Patreon page. I'll add a link to that in the description box. But if you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, make today awesome.